Mazur Rama, lecturer, Department of ICT. Me, for myself, and from my Department ICT, Information Communication Technology, I welcome you all to your first year and a very first class. I hope you all are fine and safe at your home with your family member and obviously in your time maintain the safety and security what we know from TV, radios, newspaper and all to this pandemic situation. Obviously, if you remain safe at your home, please don't go outside for any other reason. Stay at home and stay connected with me in our WhatsApp group to do your regular study and please be updated with your current study and routines. I welcome you again all to my class. So in my latest class, I will discuss what is number system from chapter 3. It's a very beginning lecture to you all to this subject. So first of all, we all have to know what is a number system. A number system means a system how you will express a number in a specific system like in writings or using some sort of symbols, some syntax and grammars to express a number system. So now I'm going to tell you how many number systems we have. Basically, number system we can divide it in two parts. Number one, this one is positional number system. And number two, this one is non-positional number system. Positional number system is what? It means this number system, the all numbers have the value when it places some sort of positions. The if every positions, it have some sort of value it carries. That means when the position is changed, the its value will be changed according to the position. But in non-positional number system, the basic difference between positional number system when this position will be changed, the number will be, the value will not be changed, it will be unchanged. That is basically the two difference between positional number system and non-positional number system. In positional number system, we can define it like an example 19.24. So this portion This one in this part and this one fractional part. At this point, I'm gonna call in radius one. This way, we're gonna form positional number system. So this part all time represent the integer part. That's why we call it 19.24. It's not like that 19.24. This one is fractional part. That's why 19.24. At this point, if we're gonna call it the radius point, this means the fractional point to divide this portion is integer and last part is fractional. Now I am welcome you all to my laptop screen to see my full presentation about the full topic in details. Welcome you all. Okay, welcome you all to my presentation. So now what I'm gonna tell you first, what is number system? So number system means what? Number system is a writing system for expressing numbers. It means when you're gonna write some sort of systems for expressing numbers for all any types of use or purpose or our daily life's use, we're gonna use. Uh, this is a mathematical notation for representing numbers of given set using digits or symbols in a consistent manner. This sign known known as a numbers. That means when it's a mathematical it's in a, a mathematical notation for representing some sort of numbers of given set using of sets using a digits for symbols to, to and its consistent manner we're gonna use. We have invented different types of number system for different works and calculation. So how many number system we have? Number system basically two types. 
positional number system and non-positional number system. So, non-positional number system, a system of numeration in which the placement of a numerical digits does not change its value. Its value. That means what I mentioned to you earlier, it's not gonna change its value. Uh, it's an ancient number system. In this number system, various appliances, animals, birds, tree, etc. are used as a symbol for measurements or any kinds of further use we're going to use. Like an example, hieroglyphics. It's a perfect example for non-positional number system. Second part, positional number system. A positional number system, what? A system in which each position is related to the next by constant multiplier of that numeral system. That means a constant multiplier like ones, tens, thousands, lakhs, what I mentioned earlier. A constant and constant multiplier of numeral system. That means uh, this system has a relative symbol or meaning. It contains all the time. In a way it relates to the number directly next to it. The total value of a positional number is the total value of the resultant values of all positions. That means in this system base, position, radix point are very very important. That's why I took this picture for your formal representation. You see this red mark 5, it's MSB that means most significant bit, that means most leftmost bits for this part of uh, integer part we're gonna say and this one is the digit and LSB it can be the rightmost that means 9 can also be the LSB and this fractional point this 2 also gonna be the the LSB that means least significant bit and this one the uh, yellow mark is radix point and this one the last after bracket we have to write at the at the bottom of the part of the bracket of first bracket it's called base so this 5 and 3 it can be the msb 5 for the msb for the in integer part and 3 is the msb for fractional part and 9 is lsb for the integer part and 2 is lsb for the fractional part so i hope you understand my lectures thank you all from myself, it's Mahfuzur Rahman, lecturer, Department of ICT. I hope you understand my today's videos and lectures. If you have any confusion or question, please do it at our WhatsApp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section. Again and again, I want to tell you a simple thing. Please stay at home for your and your family safety. Allah Hafiz, this is Mahfuzur Rahman from Milestone College, ICT Department.